Hello! If you like Minecraft, and you like the board game Talisman, or even if you have no idea what that board game is, you might still enjoy my Minecrafted Talisman board that I created. This board game, uh, Talisman, on the board is different pictures on each square. And so I took those pictures and recreated them in three dimensions within Minecraft. So let's go through some of the areas that I've made. I have created all of the large expansions for Talisman. Uh, every single square is duplicated here in Minecraft with some artistic license. Now there, you will notice there's an outline on the ground in this particular area and that's for a future expansion that's coming out very soon. So I am eager to add that as soon as it comes out. And then when it does come out and I add it in, then I'll uh, change the upload to to match that. And I'll, if you're interested enough in it, then I'll try to let you know. Now that was like, you just saw like a, a graphic glitch. Just ignore that. So the current snapshot seems to have a little bit of issues with some graphic glitches. I'm not sure what's going on with the latest. But if you're playing without the snapshot, you you should be fine. In fact, none of these um, none of these blocks, as far as I can remember, uh, need the uh, new snapshot. They just need the latest update to Minecraft. So you'll be you'll be fine without you know worrying about that. So I'm going to show you the inner realm that I've created as well as because the, this is the main board that took uh, oh a lot of time to to do all of this. Inside many of the structures are instructions that would be found on the game board itself. So inside the hermit cave that we passed back there. There's a few signs that say what happens when you roll the, the d6. And inside the temple here, where one goes to pray in the game, there's different signs that say things about what happens when you, when you pray and roll re different results. Uh, it, and there are, this is the royal castle, so there's actually two little areas inside of that. And there are all sorts of tons of Easter eggs here to find. So inside of buildings, inside of different houses and areas, you'll find a lot of different uh, signs that are uh, puns or different little jokes that I put in there or even little secret areas that I put in there for you to find. And if you are in creative mode, which you would have to be to be able to fly around like this, you can, uh, if you dig in certain places, you will, you might find a uh, mine track that I laid down. There was this one section that I had connected with mine tracks underneath. And then I found out how to do the command blocks and how to do teleporting. So I replaced the whole idea of that was just a button that you could press to instantly teleport you. But I didn't take out the mine tracks, so they're still there, but you'd have to be able to uh, find them. But I would I, I would say, you know, well, I mean, it's up to you. How do you want to explore this world if you want to do it in creative mode or uh, survival mode or whatever? Here's Death with his giant D6. Very scary looking. And there's a way to go inside of death and explore around him. <laughs> okay, let's get to the crown of command. This is the object that you're trying to get to in the board game. However, the large expansion dragons added uh, two areas that could be in, in place of where the crown of command was. So I'm just going to show you one of those two. There's two different buttons inside the crown of command as well as a chest called Pandora's uh, chest that will if you open that you'll go somewhere too so if you press one of these two buttons you'll go to this dragon realm where there's all these little dragons hanging out and it's the same uh, inner circle just 
it's been replaced by dragons. So the board game, uh, one side has all these dragons, and then the other side has all of these um, steps, stairs leading upwards. That one's not as interesting to look at, so I didn't include that in this video, but the other button will take you to that zone. And you can go around here and look at the dragons, and there's a few things to see in this uh, dragon realm as well. There's only a couple of things I didn't personally create. I did not create this giant green dragon. Uh, somebody on YouTube did, but they were completely anonymous. So I have no idea who did this giant green dragon. And also I had um, uh, my brother create. Alright, let's go into some of the city here and more of the city. And it became nighttime, and nighttime is always very interesting around the talisman map. The stained glass is something I'm so glad that they added to the Minecraft game. It added so much that you could uh, do flavor-wise, so that was really great. Because before I'd had the pain glass was, uh, I had colored wool behind it to make it look like it was stained glass windows. So in inside the city, you'll find a ton of different things inside these uh, houses. Uh, they're empty, but there, there's there's things in them. So that didn't make sense the way I said it, but you'll understand if you go explore them. <laughs> and right now, I was going to show you really quick, inside of this area, you'll go to a dungeon area is below that particular area because connected to the game board and the real life game board is a dungeon area from that square so I thought it would be neat that if you went into that structure that down beneath it would be the dungeon area so all these different rooms again mirror the game board uh, images from the dungeon expansion. Some of the rooms look spot on, whereas others I took extreme artistic license in just having a room rather than trying to duplicate what was on the square because it was just impossible to, to do that. This particular room had a uh, figure, had a, had a person on the square, and I couldn't really draw a person to be uh, something you would expect. so beyond the dungeon area there's also the highland expansion which I'll be showing as soon as we get out of the dungeon here whenever that happens and inside the dungeon at the very end is the teleport button that will take you back to the start of the dungeon so that you can uh, get out of there easy so what else is there to say okay so the links well, the one link is down below in the description. It's a 7-zip file, so that's an extractor utility. If you don't have that, you should go download that because it's a good one. And my excuse for not offering you a different download option is that I just think that you should have that and I'm too lazy to give you a different option. So this is the Highlands expansion. There's the Lost City with the giant words Lost City so that we know what it is written there because I figure the best way to have a Lost City is to tell everybody that's a Lost City so that it won't be a Lost City anymore. I guess it will be a found city once you've lost it of. So at any rate, I'm getting close to the end of the video and I wanted to say unless and until we have Minecraft, we have to be skeptical about Talisman. Wait, what?